Hello friends, in our uh, journey through literary criticism, literary theory, we started with Aristotle, then Horace, Longinus, Sir Philip Sidney, and uh, after that we had a Dryden, and uh, before that, of course, you might have uh, come across my lectures on T.S. Eliot, Tradition and the Individual Talent, and Professor to Shakespeare, also Coleridge's Theory of Imagination, Primary, Secondary, and uh, Fancy. Yes. So far I think we have come in literary theory, now we have got the next critic, Alexander Pope. A very interesting person, he was a short film. Uh, short but <coughs> tall wisdom. It was only four, four feet six inches. That's what the, the book said, I don't know. I haven't seen him, that's what the book said. Now, he was a... And his, his magnum opus, you can say. As critic, in the critical field, you can say. In criticism it is, an essay, an essay on... Uh, an essay on criticism. An essay on criticism. Essay, but it is written in poetry. It is written in, in poetic lines, metrical lines, heroic cup, say couplets no. Heroic couplets. That is the form it is written. Rhyming. Rhyming couplets. Rhyming. And uh, <coughs> you also have got uh, all to the seven. 744 lines and uh, these lines are written, the meter is iambic pentameter, iambic pentameter, 744 lines, three parts, written in three parts, it's about the essay, essay in the 18th century also had the meaning that was given to this word by Monday. Mundane, the originator of this form, of this genre, and also during the time of Bacon also. Bacon, the meaning that is given by Bacon and Mundane to essay, uh, that meaning is applicable here also. But here, here it is, uh, something that is attempted, an attempt, what is the name? An attempt. Something that is tried, tried, to try. An essay means try. Essay, that is mundane word, French. Essay. And uh, Bacon is the, you know, Bacon is the most accomplished essayist of those days. Even after that, for his sheer aphoristic statements, you know, pithy and aphoristic statements, aphoristic statements, nobody after or before had surpassed it. <coughs> so, this essay means to try. And then we have so that is about this. What is rhyming? Heroic couplets. I am making my own one. I'll just now explain. You don't worry about it. You said that you may think that what is this? He is, he is telling something which we don't know. No. Some, most of you must be knowing these things, but must know these things, but maybe. Then this is it's a, um, 744 lines, I told you. Know. It's divided into three parts. First part is line 1 to two th 201. 1 to 201, that is the uh, first part. That is, it gives you the rules. Rules for the study of art and judgment. That's the thing. That's the creativity and criticism. So this deals with the rules for the study of, study of art and judgment. Judgment is here means criticism. Then, then the second part is, this only an introduction. This uh, second part is lines to 201 to 560. 560. 201 to 560. Why do critics go wrong? Means the law, the causes of wrong judgment. Then it the causes of a wrong judgment by critics. Judgment by critics. 
And the third part is 560 to 744. 560 to 744. That is ethics or the morals that critics should show. Ethics, morals. That critics should fall. Should fall. So these are the three parts. Now, when you consider this you now, rules for the study of art and judgment, you will find many generalizations that is applicable to our life also. See, for example, there is a, a lit, uh, there is a, you now, you have got uh, such things like uh, uh, judgments. No two judgments are the same, just as no two watches show the same time and so on. So that is general thing. So. And that everybody has got uh, the, a glimmer of light, the seeds of, uh, the seeds of uh, creativity, but and judgment also, like that. General things also you will find. Causes of wrong judgment, so, for example, pride is one, is that? And then you have got envy and all those things. So, this is applicable in our daily life also. And ethics, that should be morals that we should follow. <coughs> not only <coughs> critics, but in our life also. Or so, it's not just criticism, it's also about our life. It's very useful. I, as I always say, you must go through this uh, point. Is 744 lines because it's useful to our day to day life also. An essay on criticism, that is an essay on poet, po poetic criticism or creativity and criticism, and also our life, day to day life. Now, what I'm going to do is I just tell you just so that you get some interest in this, you know, that is what is an epic pandemic, rhyming, you know, rhyming. So just, see, the whole essay can be summed up in part three. Two lines, six fifty-three to six sixty-four. Part three, uh, six fifty-three to six sixty-four. These lines, six fifty-three to six sixty-four. Uh, sixty-four. These lines, starting with the horse, uh, starting with the horse. Now the uh, two lines. No. These tone lines really sums up the whole point. You can go through that. Tomorrow we will explain it further so that before entering the essay, it will be very useful. <coughs> what is in it? We will see. Understand? So that is, please note this 653 to 664, part 3. Another point is that. Passage. It begins like this. Horus still charms with grace, with grace, with graceful negligence. Horus still charms with graceful negligence. Horus still charms with with so I think you have to note this term horse still charms with ne graceful negligence horse 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 still charms uh, with Grace full neck neck legends. So Horace still charms with graceful neck legends. Okay? And without method, without method, talks us into sense. And uh, with out 
method talks us in two cents. So here you can see what is rhyming. You know? so see here we go. This is couplet, two lines. What is couplet? You know, couple. You know? Negligence, sense. That is rhyming. Simple. Now I said hyambic pentameter. Pentameter means five feet line. Penta means five. Meter means measure also. Measure. So penta meter means five measure or five meter. Five meter lines. It is penta meter. You know, USA, the defense headquarters of the US is called Pentagon. Penta means five. Five sides. That building has got a five sides. Defense headquarters. <coughs> now, why do I write this? This is the 600 and, I told you, 53 line, 653, 654, and up to 664. These lines sum up the whole poem. See, and it begins like this. The pandemic vessel, you can say like this. <coughs> One, <coughs> power or is still chance. Two, with grace, three, full net, four, and this is five. It's called a scansion. Scansion. Scansion means scanning the line. That's all. So meter here means, one measure means, there should be two syllables. And uh, both can be unstressed, both can be stressed, one can be stressed and one can be unstressed, like that. It depends. Some idea about stress, accent, etc., it will be better. Now, how will you divide this? Syllable, first you should know syllable. The definition of a syllable is that this unit, <coughs> sorry. The unit, the unit that has got a vowel sound is a syllable. Understand? Unit of pronunciation that has got a vowel sound. That is a simple definition of uh, syllable. So you can see, horus, ho, race. There are two vowels here, no? ho, race. This is unstressed and this is trust. Ho, race. How race? See? Here you have E, A. So, this is one syllable, this is another syllable. Here, E and A. This is one syllable, this is another syllable. And full neg. Syllable here. Lee gems. This is. So, five feet. So how will you decide, what is the point to determine how many feet or the feet as a <coughs> Depends on the number of vowels. Oh. <coughs> Why these vowels? Because if there is a vowel person, then it is a syllable. <coughs> Coughing, why? What is the reason? No. And then here was the same thing. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Since this is not a vowel, we don't pronounce it. Now, this is a scansion for iambic. Pendamito, penda. Pendamito means five, five meshes. One, two, three, four, five. Same here. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now, why do you call it iambic? Iambic is the marching rhythm. Marching rhythm, you know? Or the leaping rhythm. Iambic is the leaping or marching, leaping. Leaping rhythm. And the characteristics of this iambic is short, long. That is unstressed stress. And unstressed is marked like this. Stressed is marked like this. See that? So you have. Now you have understood what is iambic. So if you <coughs> sing this a little bit like this. Horace till it charms with grace full neck gems. How rest till charms with neckly gems. How rest till charms with neckly gems. Ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. Do you get it? Huh? In fact, this is the way that you should read the poem. Hmm? Nayab. And with our method talks us into sense. And with our method that with our method talks a sin to sense. That is, what is that? We can do this as an exercise. It is a very rewarding ex ex exercise. Okay. So that is why we have the structure. I told you know, 1 to 2, 201 to 560, 560 to 742. Then I told you, the whole thing can be summed up 653, 664, 653, 54, I have written it on the board here and also showed you the scansion just to give you some idea about the iambic pentameter. Penda means 5 foot, 5 feet. Iambic means It's very interesting. Then there are other, yeah, other meters, Proki for example, only two syllables, but both are answers. There are other meters, you will be having a class on, a few classes on English prosody. This meter, a metrical beauty of English poetry. You will see after some day, but time for the timing, I think this is clear. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so try to read six fifty three onwards. The winter, winter season. It's winter season. I will say this storm. This uh, kind of cough. I don't think it will. It will in any way. Uh, how to? Okay, As I will give you an overview. I don't want to write it because if you say about 16 points, you can take down part one. First point is who is more skilled, poet or a critic? Who should be more skilled? Second is about judgments. No two judgments are the same, just as new watches are the same. Third is, you want me to write it? <coughs> okay. So, first point is, who is more skilled? The critic or the poet? Creative writer or the poet? Second is, our judgments. Our judgments are not the same. Like two watches don't show the same time. That is, everybody has in him the seeds of creativity, creativity and criticism. Understand? Everybody has glimmer of light. That's right. Glimmer, that's the word you use. Understand? And then you have got the fourth is uh, poet critics 
are like half formed, they are like mules, heavy mules. Poet, critic. Some people start as poets, then they get a little decision, come back again as poet and so on. Such people, he ridicules, calling them mules or half formed insects. Fourth one. Then the fifth is, critics and writers should know their limitations. Critics and poets should know, should be aware of, aware of limitations. You can see this limits and limitations, limits, limitations and limits. He gives example of land and sea. Nature, you will find this. Hmm. Then sixth point is, you should uh, follow nature, maybe. Follow nature. This is advice to or study of. This is study of. To the puts art and judgment. What you have to do? So that follows it. Then he says, wit and seven, wit and judgment are very often at strife. That means they don't agree. They are they are quarrelling. Poets and critics there. <coughs> Eighth, while this <coughs> follow <coughs> follow the rules of ancients. Follow the rules of ancients. This is in part one, not all the part. A simple law, five lines, six lines. That is okay. Eight. Yes. Right. I know him, you have nine. This is part one, only part one. Nine is learn from the Greeks. Learn. Your model should be learn the, the Greek model. <coughs> Actually, this is written on the model of Horace Arts Poetica. Uh, and therefore, Greeks and uh, also, Greeks and Romans also. Then this says uh, there are some critics he praises, generous critics. They will they will charm. They will dress the creativity of the poet with the charms. And eleven is his brother, types of critics. Types of critics. Different types of critics. And twelfth point is it's all five or six lines, so it becomes easy for you. It says study the ancients. That's important. Learn the Greeks and study the ancients. Study the ancients. And 13, 14, 15, 16. That is, it's is about Virgil. Virgil. And uh, what you have to learn from them. And 14 is geniuses. Geniuses. They make mistakes, but there is not mistake. It is brave disorder, like Shakespeare. And uh, fourth, uh, fifteen is advice to the moderns. Moderns. And then the last one is you cannot attack the ancient. Sacrilegious hands cannot, hands cannot. Touch the greatness of the ancients. So these are the sixteen points in part one. Part one, one to two hundred and six line. Yes, one to one to two hundred and six. Sorry, two hundred and one. Oh, sorry. 
Sixu, isn't it? Um, so you have got 16 points. We can take point by point. Before that, please try to read it. Okay. Very good. Nice. <coughs> Yes, to, so till we meet again, bye. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life. Pope is a Pope in, criti in criticism. Pope. Learn, learn, learn quite a lot from him. Not only as far as poetry and criticism is concerned, but also life. From life, you can see. As so a battling uh, against many words also. He was a poet a cryptic, a translator, a landscape lover, a gardener, a, a satirist. Half a dozen. He was not, uh, as we say, two in one, three in one, but six in one. A person who was throughout his life suffering from tuberculosis of the bone, but still very independent. He managed to live, uh, earn something by translations. And he was a great uh, uh, admirer of Boileau and also Horsch. So this essay is in a way, it's a conversational style. The conversational style he uh, imitated from Horsch. Horsch also wrote it in a conversational style. You remember Epistola Ad Pisaurus. Epistola means epistle. It is written in the form of an, an epistle, means a letter. So this is also like that, the conversation is simple, you can read it. I am with Vendometer, I hope you understand what is I am with Vendometer. Any problem you has, you can contact me. Okay, so till then, bye, have a nice day. Enjoy.